with all y'all brothers there, and I hope y'all listening from Patterson and Newark and, and um, New York <laughs> and New York as well. All over. all over. What you only sold crack to your own people, which was genocide. Like nowadays, let's switch to now. All these gangster rappers. Let's, how many gangster rappers killed a white person? Don't, haven't heard of. Haven't but heard of. This rapper killed that black rapper. This black female rapper. She this and this. We all we just being pitted like pit bulls against ourselves. We not fighting for nothing. We not Muhammad Ali. That wasn't Muhammad Ali' purpose. That wasn't Malcolm X' purpose. And we know they were dangerous people. We didn't know they were dangerous, but Muhammad Ali, which is my godfather, was a dangerous man. Malcolm X was a dangerous man. Martin Luther King was a dangerous man. Medgar Evans was a dangerous man. And we happen to be doing this show in the intro of Black History Month. Let's get into some black history for all our listeners out there, for everybody that's looking at me and looking at my teacher, Duhan. We're going to get into the black history science, man. Where are everybody want to be a Lil Wayne? Everybody want to be Baby. Everybody want to be Puffy. Everybody want to be Jay-Z. Everybody want to be 50 Cent. But all the names I named ain't doing shit for you or us or our community. They trying to rub elbows with the Caucasian man. We used to call that keeping up with the Joneses. Remember that, Duan? Keeping up with the Joneses. You see, yeah, he yeah, got a Cadillac. Yeah. You want a Cadillac. Well, I mean, for 50, 50... 50 hiring, he, he hiring more, you know what I mean, in the shows. It, so he's, 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 he's doing something when it comes to that. I mean, with the content, I could dig it because it's, it's, it's what we used to and it's, and it's how, we, how we lived. However, it's time to give the young people some uh, an alternative, you know what I'm saying? Like having them... We've been drinking out of the dirty water for so long. Now it's time to put some clean water so we can have a choice. Let me ask you a question, Duong. Let me ask you a question. Your Saturday morning cartoons, right? We used to have the before you eat a bowl of cereal and your mom saw you, you got to clean up. You got to do this and do that, right? Uh, There was a cartoon that was only designed for us. Big dude, fat dude. He was fat. Hey, hey, hey. It's fat it's Albert. Fat Albert. Right? Bill Cosby. Now, Bill Cosby. There you go, God. Now, Bill Cosby, that was his science, right? Right, right. Now, with Bill Cosby, he put it out there. At the end of a cartoon, don't steal, don't lie, don't... Take a bath, all that. Always <laughs> a lesson. There's always a lesson. He always taught us a lesson through that Saturday morning cartoons, right? Now, like Scooby Doo, Bugs Bunny, Popeye, all that other shit. Like, but when you saw, when you saw a fucking Fat Albert episode, you learned something, no right? Doubt. No doubt. Now, Bill Cosby, although they they called him like the clean comedian. Right. Uptown Saturday night. Right? All mo, mo, all of Bill Cosby and Sidney Poitier and Harry Belafonte, shout out to the original ones who paved the way for us with everything. Maybe shout maybe out to them. The power those who, are, who, have, who have transitioned. Maybe rest the power. Bootney Farnsworth. Biggie Smalls. Y'all think Biggie Smalls, that was his name? No, that was a character in Uptown Saturday Night. <laughs> Geechee Dan, Madam Zenobia, Buck and the Preacher, the Black Cowboy movie where the slave wasn't happening. 
we getting out of this motherfucker. Fuck, bop, 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 bop. We had inspiration from those brothers and Bill Cosby. How they did him, how they did him nowadays. Like, oh, yeah, and, he, and, and, he, he, he was fucking with a 15 year old girl in the Playboy Mansion. Do on America. What is your daughter doing in the Playboy Mansion at 15 anyway? And who and, and who and who owned the Playboy Mansion? Hugh Hefner, okay. a Jewish dude. Yeah. Now we know we know like like Tupac said, the media be crucifying brothers severe. Right. You know what I'm saying so now they got Puff in there. Who who knows who's going to be next? At the end of the day, it goes this way: once you get that bread, and you s decide that okay. I don't want to deal with the status quo. I want to do more for those who I'm, I'm a part of. I want to do more for my family. But Duhon, you took their money. That's the sign. See, but check this out. Remember, the media nor America will give you nothing that you're not capable of getting. Anytime you get money, from America, you earned it, and then some. Think about all the people who make money. They got talent. Right. They got talent anyway. They talented individuals. So, only thing that's happening to them is they're they're taking their their talent, taking their skills, and they're enslaving them through the dollars. Look, I'm paying you, so I get to control you. But really, they're not paying. You know who paying them? We paying. Them. We the one right. spending the money. We spending money on them. So at the end of the day, we're taking care of them. But they're not allowed. They're not to representing take care of us. us. They're not allowed to take care of us. Now, the 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 there's there's a solution to that that many people are unaware of. At all, God. See, the solution is. Our nationality was taken. Even though we came across being knowledge of self, it, we always knew there was still something else. There was still something else that was missing. The part that was missing was the nationality that was documented. Remember we used to say, what was we called prior to being called black? Right. What was we called prior to being called African Americans? Here you go. We was called Moors. Rocky Moors. Rocky we was Moors. Shout out to Noble Drew Ali. Shout out to the and, Moroccan. And, and, shout out, and, and shout out to all the Moroccan Moors that are putting together the 50 states so that we can be sovereign again, so that we don't have to be under the jurisdiction of America and, and America tell us who and what and how to do what we need to do and keep us from helping us. Give us our own state. We know Absolutely. that. Well, hey, Duong, once you there said you that, once you said that, and once I agreed to that, we dangerous men. Yeah. See, yeah. danger ain't a, a nigga with a gun. That's not dangerous. No. Because whatever that nigga do with that gun, nigga meaning an illiterate person, with that gun, whatever you do with that gun, you are going to answer to that white man. You're on his jurisdiction. You, you but know. the science of a black man wanting to go to his heritage and having knowledge of self and having intelligence, uh, like 80% of slavery was keep these niggas ignorant. Read a book, we killing you. Speak a language, we killing you. You feel me? Yeah, fair. They killing fair you time. because you have to be an American. You have to speak Amer um, uh, have to speak the speak, king's speak English. The king's English. Hey, you feel did me? You, did you know that in 1870, there was a law passed by Ulysses S. Grant in the 41st Congress that naturalized us 
all people of African descent was supposedly turned to be American. Being American or a citizen, which when they put the language together, they said that you will be able to get the rights that the white people are already getting, basically. You know what I mean? So when you think about that, something wrong with that. Why do we have to put, why do you have to put a law together so that we can get the same rights they're already enjoying? Right. You know what I'm saying? So but, that that was the, that's when we lost who we were. We, 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 we were lost. But due to knowledge, that was the separation of Martin Luther King, can't we all get along? I have a dream, bow, bow. And Malcolm, what Malcolm said, y'all do y'all, let us do us. Give us Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Let us. They ain't going to give us us. If we said, if we said, look, if we said right now, all black people going to fuck with black people, we're going to take NBA, NFL, basketball, baseball, cooking, cleaning, all that good shit, doctors and lawyers, let black people do them and let white people do them. You know what's going to happen, right? White people going to self-destruct. Black, black people, we going to build. That's why there's a beef with Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey, and that's what Cat Williams is talking about. Everybody talking about Hollywood, Hollywood. Hollywood is what it is. Fake. You're, you're an actor. You lie. You 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 cheat. You do blah blah blah. And you but and, the, and you're being and you're being suppressed by the so-called powers to be in Hollywood. They right. need to tell you how what, when you're gonna work, when you're not gonna work, what scripts you're gonna take, you know, all that type of stuff. So back to the control factor. You know, so so what Tyler Perry doing having his own that gives him the control. You know, that's 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 what it's more about. Look and how he's steering it. Like Tyler Perry, all all his movies got women strong and black men weak. Right? Oh well, no, no. Tyler Perry, bow bow. When he do show a black family, it's buffoonery, like Spike Lee said. Is buffoonery like Denzel Washington said, Samuel L. Jackson. You ain't never seen none of our strong actors in the Tyler Perry movie. Why? Because that's something to think about. That's something to think about. Yeah, that's it's something. something it's something for our nation to think. Why Tyler Perry is so big as a producer and a movie writer and whatever the fuck? Why you ain't wrote a Denzel part? He because he couldn't get Denzel or Morgan Freeman to do that cross. Remember, he played David Cross, and uh -huh. Cross was Morgan Freeman's character in Kiss the Girls. Okay. So Tyler Perry played himself and thought, well, you know what? Morgan Freeman did it. And where you know Morgan Freeman from, guy? You know, from the East Side movie. <laughs> Where do you know Morgan Freeman from, Shadi? Don't make me disrespect you, God. <laughs> what, brother? You, look, it's look, it's okay. You know something that I don't know, so share the wisdom. No, I'm a I'm a mush it in your face, do <laughs> Share the wisdom. <laughs> You got God. some kind of wisdom, bro. Where, where the first time you ever seen Morgan Freeman at? Driving this day. <laughs> Word is born. But I don't I mean, So that's I the first remember. time. Hey, Duhon. Duhon, look. Remember, we was little kids, right? If you were sick and you ain't go to school, right? Did you stay home and watch TV? If you watch TV, what station you had to watch? You had to watch Channel 7, 11. Do on, on, go way back on, further. Channel 2. <laughs> Do on, go a little back further in your life. 
if you didn't go to school, you were sick and all that good shit. You watching Channel 2 and, and Channel 4 and 5 and you watching stories and soap operas. What the fuck station, when you didn't go to school, what station? Oh, your 13. People, 13. Channel 13. And 13 was called what? I'm 13 for, for the, that was the children channel for it, for uh, PBS. For, what, what was the uh what was used to come on there? Sesame Street and all that. Okay, stuff. so all right, I yeah. do her oh, other so than Sesame Street. Wrong. Look, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> loosen up your loosen up your beast of mock neck. <laughs> do her. Other than Sesame Street. What other show did Sesame Street did we watch? What was the next show of Sesame Street? Sure, I, I remember Zoom. I remember Zoom. I, no, no. Zoom. Yo, see now you now you putting age on his shit. <laughs> so, okay, no. look, I say, look, you had what, Sesame Street. Hey, now I'm uh, saying again, Electric Company. Right. Okay. That's where. Hey, hey, hey look at me, That's Duan. Okay. Look, Duan. Look, K huh, cat. Sure. Uh, right. Uh, Morgan Freeman came from Electric Company. Company, okay. All right. Well, hey, that was good. You you brought me to it. <laughs> me to it. See, that was good. That was good. You but he me. went from educating us Electric Company to fucking Morgan Freeman, Joe Clark, and he played God like a couple of times. Right. Okay. That was that was one of our building destroys. And he's still popping his voice like James L. Jones. Right, right. Who wasn't in Star Wars, but was the voice of who? Darth Vader. Darth Vader. James Earl Jones. Icon. Icons. So with James L. Jones, with Morgan Friedman, with Harry Belafonte, with, and I bring it all back to say Bill Cosby. When Bill Cosby got his show on NBC, the Cosby show, right? In the early 80s. Right, right. What was his occupation? He doctor. was a doctor. Doctor. What was his wife? Lawyer. Lawyer, where did they live in Fort Greene, Brooklyn? Fort Greene in hip hop, we know Fort Greene for Fifty Cent, Killer Ben, Dollar Bill, uh, Supreme, rapping them decepts. But Bill Cosby, while all this shit was going on, Bill Cosby was like, "Yo," and then he was a doctor. His wife was a lawyer. They kids had the problems like we had. We was fucking with Bill Cosby. Right. Then he came out with A Different World, which was a college show. Then by that time, the Caucasian man caught on. He's not a comedian clowning and laughing. He's teaching these niggas on the law. <laughs> He's, 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 he's giving you something to aspire for, to aspire to. You know what I'm he's saying? Not, like, he's not, he's not uh, James Evans in Florida living in the projects in Chicago right. and we ain't gonna never get up out of this shit. Right, right, right. He's not George Jefferson, a nigga we gave some money to, but Weezy don't do shit, Lionel don't do shit, and they fuck with white people. Bill Cosby said, Fuck all that. If, 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 if I'm going to make you laugh, if you're going to sit calm, sit calm, C-A-L-M, for a half an hour, watch this shit. Not sit calm like a situation comedy. If right, you're going right. to sit calm sit for calmly. 30 minutes. Yeah, sit calmly and, and, right. and, and, take, this, and take this wisdom. Right. So let I, me so let me throw this wisdom up in you. So I can give you a better understanding of what you can do and who you can be. Then okay. they go. 
Then they, we fast forward like he is somebody who could be president. How the fuck Donald Trump got president? But it's a lot of black motherfuckers who we fuck with that could be president and maneuver and handle situations. So on the chessboard of life, do harm. Bill Cosby, like our greatest, our greatest black entertainer, other than Stevie Wonder, other than Rick James, <laughs> other than Isaac Hayes, other than Michael Jackson. Curtis Mayfield, don't leave Curtis out. Curtis, oh, we, we ain't gonna leave Curtis Mayfield. <laughs> so if I gotta say Curtis Mayfield, now I gotta say Donnie Hathaway. No, don't leave him out either. Of course, we, we, we have we we could go on and on. We're we gonna, we gonna go through our we gonna go through our life saying shake your head, shake your head. And then, and then, and then, that might be the Christmas song of black people, but when we listen to Donnie Hathaway hang all the mistletoe and all that shit, right. see, we always been people that we could manifest and we put our heart in our shit. Go back Your to whole life, I Duhon, I know you 50 years and better. I'm Absolutely. 50 and better, right? Absolutely. But every year, if you when when you hear Donny Hathaway song or Michael Jackson song or you hear Rick James song, it will take you to where you was, who you fucking with, and what you was even wearing at that time. Right or wrong? Hey, pretty. It does. It does take you back. I don't know if I can remember. Why you? What I was you're because look, you you doing this called a hey, Shadi, Shadi. What's good? Where was you at? And what was you doing when you first heard Ebony Eyes with Rick James and Smokey Robinson? Where was you at? I probably was. You probably was? You can't just yeah. go direct to that? No, nah, man. My, I don't be, man, because back then, boy, I was, I was, I was smoking that drill, boy. <laughs> no, you wasn't. I was fucking with you. You was already <laughs> top notch. You wasn't fucking with no, 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 um, 18th Street Bomber Z <laughs> dust nigga. <laughs> no, I'm saying the weed, man. <laughs> First of all, we wasn't even fucking with weed, bro. Back you, you talking about when we used to, bro? We used to type high power on the weed, um, papers and roll them. Like so, when you could bought a joint from us, the shit said dollar sign high power dollar sign. Bro, when you heard Ebony Eyes, that was 1983. Where was you the summer oh, of 1983? 83, man. That was my last year in school, man. I was a senior. Mm. That was my last year in That's school. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So your last year in school, you were smoking weed off your grind? You was off your square? Or was your last yeah. year as a senior, was you on your motherfucking, was you on your dean, God? Huh? I was struggling then, man. I was struggling. I was a young C. You know what I mean? I always, Nigga, I was the young C. You was the look yeah, up yeah, to my I, mean, I was a young C. You was younger than me, but I still was, you know, I still was still was experimenting then. You know, I do on. You got at that time I was I was I at that time I was like, remember, remember, I I my earth had me detained in equality grade. Remember, I told you I went to East Side, cool. and then I got sent back. I got went to East Side, went there, running the muck, man, running the muck. That's why I started telling you guys, like, yo, look, don't do what I do, don't do what I was doing because it's not, it's not worth it. So that's that was the thing. So I mean, now I know why dudes Seventeenth Ave fed you, and they didn't have a leader before you. And you show you showing a lot of light. Like when I'm King's son, I'm six foot seven, I'm three hundred pounds. My dick beaters hit hard. I knock niggas out. Look, but I was bullied by Seventeenth Ave, and I was bullied by the coward niggas of Seventeenth Ave, and it's like. Meanwhile, I'm being taught by Duhon. I'm being taught by my cousin, Fat Jerry and them niggas. And it's like, yo, come jog with us. Come work out with us. Come 
bop, bop, get it in, bop, bop, boom. But I was bullied by the cowards. You know, they're the young seeds. They was the young seeds, eh? Right. They the young seeds. You know what I'm saying? And, young and, seeds, and, still and, reckless. Still, and still I ran wild. with that shit on my back. Yeah, yeah. Still for reckless a while. Hard-headed, all that kind of stuff. Right. And but I ran with that shit on my back. Like if they say King Son, you you a beast, bow bow. Anybody tell you hey, anything about King Son, I don't like bullies. And I'm big enough to handle bullies now. I knock niggas out for fun. I do this. In LA, Suge Knight wouldn't fuck with me. Shug Knight wouldn't fuck with me. I lived in Watts, Grape Street Projects in LA. I was revered because I knocked one nigga out. And everybody, PJ Watts, everybody was scared of me. It's a true story. A New York nigga, and the nigga stepped to me and thought I was Wu-Tang. He knocked my Yankee hat off. He was like, yeah, I don't like Wu-Tang niggas. Y'all niggas. So when I stood up, I said, yo, man, my name is God. That nigga, I didn't know he was the Debo, the neighborhood bully. This was the killer. Everybody ran over like, yo, God, boom, yo, son, chill, boom, boom. They ran between us. We in Watts, the bottom of LA. Ice Cube can't go there. Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, all your thugs cannot go to Watts. I'm in Watts. This nigga knocked my head off. I picked my shit up. I was like, let's do it. Chill, go, chill, 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 boom, boom. Because they know I'm going to fuck them up with the physical. And he going to come back. And this is time. He going right, to come right. back and shoot a nigga. Right. Yo, God, he, I mean, uh, Wilbo. His name is Wilbo. Yo, Wilbo, yo, boop, 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 why, yo, yo, he went Ziggy the God. Now, Ziggy the God was a gang member, but he God, buddy, he been mm. shot nine times and all the bullets is in him. And all of, Zig is my brother. We call him Allah Zig Zag Zig. That's his name. Allah Zig Zag. But they call him out there Ziggy the God. He run the whole shit, but he run it like a do-harm, the Shadi. Like, you go to him for knowledge. You don't go to him for guns. You go to him if you got beat. You don't, you go to him if you want to learn some shit. Zig run the shit. They was like, yo, that's Zig, brother. So he was like, oh, you know Zig? I was like, oh, do I know Zig? I said, Zig know me. He told a little bro, yo, call Zig. Zig called and said, yeah. He said, yeah, Zig. You know this motherfucker named Sunborn? Not King Sun. Because right. that's what they call me in Watts. Okay. Sunborn. Right. My original name, King Sun, is a stage name. Sunborn. And Zig was like, yeah, Sunborn, that's my brother. Why? What's going on with him? And then my man Wilbo was like, nah, 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 I'm cool. And Zig was like, nah, what's going on with Sunborn? He all right? Something happened to him? Somebody stepped to him? He was like, nah, nah, he cool, he cool. This nigga was like, Pardon me, God. I ain't know you was a God body. In Watts. There you go, man. Right? That's what it's about. And, and that's that's something that it appears that we're missing nowadays. You know what I mean? Where individuals defusing situations and not letting them escalate to murder. To murder. You know what I mean? Like Why could not defusing. born? That that that's that was the beauty of our time, you know. And 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 it's not a point of. It's not capable of getting back to that because, if you don't know, you don't know. Once you know, you be held accountable. You know what I'm saying? So a, lot of, a lot of things they just don't know. And let me say this to all the viewers and anybody watching, young. You see me smoking cigarettes and you see me drinking. Don't do none of this. Cause it doesn't lead to anything. You start out young as a teenager smoking cigarettes and it's cool. This is something I never seen Duhon did. 
I never saw you smoke cigarettes. I never saw you smoke weed. I never saw you get high. Also with my cousin, Kwame, Big Jack. Never seen him do that. Not even his brother James or Joaquin or a fucking uh, 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 Jerry and Danny. Bow, bow. Never seen none of them do that. Yeah, but she- we pick up we pick up bad habits along the way and they stick right. with us. The same way of speaking profanity. The same way, see, everything was bad for us comes easy to us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everything easy, was easy to come to you, hard to let go. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's that's it. And, but and, education, and my- education, building. Respect, all that's hard to establish, but once you establish it, you are better off with it. No doubt. No doubt. You feel me? Why well, acknowledge born? Absolutely. So that's where we at, do huh? Okay. We live now, on the set of now, Pete game. Now, now I want I want to I want to play something before we before we uh before we before we close out, before we wrap, because you, know I mean? you gotta go to church tonight. <laughs> uh, do uh, you got uh, you hey, do uh, you gotta go to Canaan Baptist Calvary Baptist? <laughs> hey, you you joking? At one time, I at one time my mom had me in in the choir. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look! That one time you was, we all came through that. That that's yeah. that was the character bill. Absolutely. I was in Sunday school at Canaan Baptist on 12th Ave and East 18th. What? Now, now, I don't know if you remember on Broadway. Remember, I told you it was on Broadway, and you brought this to me. Uh huh. Put it to the mic. Put it to the microphone. Let the people hear that. Rock with us, y'all. Now do a hold that, hold that, hold that. Now look. <laughs> now you remember when I took when you brought that to me, I said, man, that's a hit. That's 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 gonna be it. That's it. But because I hit you with the C I hit you with the C D cassette. <laughs> yeah, before, look. but look, mm-hmm. see, look, let me let me tell everybody in Patterson that might be watching how I got on with that song. DJ Rasheen. Who is DJ Rasheen, Shadi? I'm going to let Shadi tell you the story via my missing teeth. Go ahead. Who is DJ Rasheen? DJ Rasheen was one of the neighborhood DJs, you know? He was one of the dudes that, you know, had mastered mastered that DJ. What block was he from? (laughs) Knowledge God, man. Knowledge God. Yeah, Knowledge God. Now, Now, what was his crew? Uh, what, 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 what do you have? The Trade Force? Right. Trade, Trade Force. Force. Now, Trade Force, Force was making <laughs> records. Trade Force, let me tell y'all right now, was Wise, which was Scobie D, Just Star, you know what I mean? And uh, my you cousin know. now is born from yeah, Queens, but he lived, now I was born. It was, so it was Wise, Just Star, and now is born. So they popping. Now, hey, you, Shadi, you remember Shereem, right? Yeah, I remember Shereem. Remember he used to go with 
the little Spanish joint with the long ponytail. Yeah, yeah. Big ass, nice body. What was her name? Yeah, Sandra. Sandra. I was fucking with Sandra. I'm about to go smash her. We go to Pathmark. And I'm getting like milk and cookies, like shit, like, you know, Intamins, shit like that. So me and her, we walking from Pathmark and we walk down to the Zenas. We about to hit my crib. We ain't go 19th Ave, we went 18th Ave. So we go down and you might not know this shit. We go past Zenas, right? And I'm with the baddest little Spanish brunt. You remember, she was bad, right? Yeah, shout out to Sandra if she's still around. Right, shout out to Sandra, Diaz, Shereen, and it's Shereen, like... Shout out to Shereen, I is real. Why equal? You know what I mean? So it's like I'm fucking with Chandra, Sandra, and we walk past the Zenas, and I see cats going in, like loading up shit. Shout out to Levi from Black Street. Because remember, they used to do the Monday night show. Levi, Shy Love, brother. Shout out to Shy Love, too. Blah, blah, blah. So this particular night, Eric B and Rakim. Cutmaster DC, Brooklyn's in the house. Kid and Play, but they wasn't called Kid and Play. And Curtis Blow had a female group called Celebrity Girls. Like Girls Ruling the World or some shit. All of them is going into the zenith. So I was like, oh. Now what had happened before I got with Chandra, I was supposed to practice with Rasheen. And Rasheen girl, Sandra told me, oh, Rasheen ain't here, son. So I was like, all right. But I had hip hop coming from his basement. So I went in the little sidebar on the side of his house and I see just acknowledging them and they they trying to get a uh they getting their routine, routine together. together. Getting their routine together. <laughs> right. And they like, yo, we gonna rock the Zeners tonight. Now I saw this before I even got with Sandra. So I was like, oh this what these dudes are doing. Mind you, one of my first cousins now he's born, and it's my DJ, Rashid. So I go to the spot, right? And I see Egg being Rakim. So I was like, yo, I, I heard you say Rakim. Who's Rakim? So Eric B had bread. He was like, yo, that's the God right there. So I was like, peace, God. What lessons do you know? You know what Rock Kim told me, Duhon? I only know my supreme alphabets. Are you, yo, God, you the God, Rock Kim? I was hearing this brother while I was in Jamesburg in Bordentown. So, God, all you know is supreme alphabets. And see, the reason that he did that, because he never knew lessons. And when you say you only know your alphabets, that means I cannot question you on what? Yeah, yeah. I know you got the lessons. I can't say, all right, God, <laughs> student enrollment. Right. I can't well, say yeah. 1 to 14, God. Right, right. I can't go to English C lesson, God. Let alone, now mind you, I know 120. So I was like, God, you don't know your lessons? I said, yo, God, but you said, but nothing he really said meant anything to the lessons, but measure with the heat that's made by son. No tricks in 86, it's time to build. So I had these motherfuckers in Zena's parking lot. I said, yo, God. You don't know who the original man is, God? You you can't even tell me about my uncle. You can't even tell me about why does the devil study from 35 to 50 years? I said, God, 
You can't be telling me what was Yakub first rule and regulation, including all laws enforced while manufacturing the devil, the 28th degree and the one to 40? God, I didn't get that far yet. And then I started freestyling about a, I freestyle about that situation. And then I start freestyling about motherfuckers around us. And the nigga cut master DC who had Brooklyn's in the house. Funky Fred, Bro Brooklyn, Brooklyn, oh, it's Funky Fred. He was like, yo, take my card, man, and call me. He said, yo, you be rhyming? I said, yo, I rhyme, but I'm not a rapper. I said, I'm God body. I'm six foot seven. I'm like 200, 260. Like, yo. And so them niggas gave me a card. So I said, all right, let me call these on there. And I took that song you had. You just okay. played. And if you realize that song, Hey Love, the, the, the beat is, that's moments in love. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? I remember that. Yeah, I remember the moments in love. Yo, I used to be in the youth house, and I used to be trying to write words to sing some shit on that. Oh, you trying to sing? You right, I was like, your R&B singer. <laughs> I, I need to find the girl because <laughs> for some seeds, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, 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 no doubt. <laughs> like our influences in hip hop took us different places. So I'm a big. I'm 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 in I'm in Jan I mean, matter of fact, I'm in the youth house before I got sent down to Jamesburg. I'm trying to sing to this motherfucking song. So when I get out and now I'm free, and shout out to my brother Paul Reed, who overdosed, killed himself, my man Starborn, who was supposed to be in the NBA with Tim Thomas. This yes. nigga did not, I don't know if you remember Paul, Paul Reed, Starborn. No, I don't think I remember. Did, this nigga did not get on the bus to go and be an NBA player. You know what he did? He went to East 18th Street in Park Ave to that bar on the corner and started selling crack with Alamine in them. You know who Alamine is, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, what's his name? Kellogg and them was his bro. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I know who I know who you're talking about. I went to that bar on East 18, Shot D. And I hope if anybody listening, Alamine kids or whatever, look me in my face and watch what I did. I went to that bar on East 18 Street. I punched Alamine in his face in the bar and dragged him out and dragged him around the corner and stomped his face. Some boy who was bullied in Patterson grabbed Alamine and stomped his face. The only nigga stopped me from really killing him physically was Star. But Star was like, yo, God, why you doing this? Why you doing this? I said, yo, you selling crack for this nigga? I used to live upstairs from Alamine on East 19th Street. Do Patterson, do Jersey, do y'all want really King Son of Some Born History? You want to peep game for real? Or why I could say fuck Jersey and do this, flip up my hat and say, hey, because in the Bronx, I never got robbed. I never got jumped. I never got disrespected. In all five barrels. But in Patterson, everything happened to me except getting raped by a pedophile. 
And I go on to say do that. On, why you do on? Why you shipping your position, motherfucker? You got the plan. You got the visa mock neck shit on. You got a crown on your. First of all, you should be wearing that crown. You, you should have had a gray Kango Spitfire joint on. <laughs> Hey, got what I brought. Man. <laughs> <laughs> what I brought man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I go, bro. <laughs> hey, Duran, we're going to do this every week for Patterson to Pete Game for New York and all everybody who follow King's son. It's like this ain't a podcast, it's a God cast. You understand? This ain't no shit for popularity or game. Come and fuck with me and do harm if you want knowledge yourself. I'm bringing it to you live from a hotel because I'm in Virginia Beach. My apartment burnt down, so I lost my gazelles. I lost my flag. I lost my diamond pinkies. I lost all my clothes. But you know what I didn't lose? I didn't lose that little white girl over there. And I didn't lose my life. So the God son born could further on and build. So Shadi could tune into me rather than going to my funeral. And we could build. And as long as we can build, as long as we can build, you gonna get the you gonna get the shit you don't get from Puff and Fifty and Luda and all of them and Drake. You gonna get real. So if all y'all wanna fuck with some money, fuck with Peep Game TV. We live on the air right now. We live if y'all fucking with us. If you ain't fucking with us, we don't care. Cause knowledge is infinite. That book ain't nothing but a book until you open it. When you open it and read it, then it becomes knowledge with some understanding. There you go. We there the you gods. Go. There you go. There you go. And, and 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 all material things can be can be gotten back. You know what I'm saying? I came out back. here with nothing do harm. I, I I got all that shit when I came out here. So you know what the universe told me? You know what the law told me? Do it again. Man. But do it better. You're going to do it better this time. But he wiped me out for a reason. Oh, was it because yeah, yeah. of that white girl? Was it because of something I did wrong? Or whatever God said, I smited you. Now I'm giving you the nod to self to do it again. Hey, we're gonna build. We're gonna build on that off air. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna build on on, on the purpose of that. All you know? I build, do harm, and it's like I've always loved you, God. You always been like a mentor, big brother, manifestation. You always been like Patterson, and you held seventeen damn damn. But all the little like when we talk about crack and the genocide and niggas who fucked up. You ain't in that conversation, do huh? Because well, I mean, you know, I'm not in the conversation with you, but it, they'll have a different story. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so but I'm see, look, if 17th Ave was a bunch of duons, what would 17th Ave be? If a bite from 17th Ave could fight, if a bite from 17th Ave could speak different languages. If they buy from 17th Dad had knowledge itself. Utopia, God. Wouldn't be no hot dudes or no nations or no Kishons or Kushons. Kushon Cooley, that's my brother. I did the knowledge that some young nigga, Kushon was drunk and some young nigga fucked him up and handled it. You know, that shit hurt me so much. Now, this nigga actually jumped me one time on my block on Park Avenue. 
Shout out to Frank and Joe's Park Ave 33rd. Best pizza in Patterson. I don't give a fuck about Broadway and um, Market Street, whatever, bow, bow. The best pizza, the best Italians that gave us character. Frank and Joe's. And I knew these motherfuckers for 40 years. Frank and Joe's be like, yo, what you, go, you niggas. What you go, let, let's, let's hear your end song. Let's hear your end song. Nah, my, we, look, we are, okay, we my in, shout out to Frank and Joe's who used to call us niggas. They was Italians. They used to be like, yo, you niggas, get out of here. But them Italian motherfuckers raised us. When they called us niggas, oh, you niggas get the fuck up out of my store and you niggas can't come in. Did we run? Me too. Oh, these white Italian niggas saying niggas. Nah, we knew we was acting like niggas and they called us niggas. Peace. I just need to know, when can I go back in the store so I got to send my baby mother to go get my pastrami or to go get my veggie see, or to go I, get I, my pizza? Yeah, see, I never heard him. I never heard him say that. <laughs> I never right, them. because you know why? They ain't know you. If they ain't know you like that, they ain't release it like that. But me, King Bomb, Bomb Prince, Shari, Prince, uh, Master, everybody, all my whole, remember, Shadi, after 17th Ave shitting on me, did I not go and get my own block? Okay. Shadi, Park okay. Avenue 33rd was whose block? Okay, that was, that was, that was your domain. One of your little dudes, I ain't going to say his name, he, he said, yo, he was fucking with Foundation. And Found was like a motherfucker didn't know lessons, but, hey, but you know, Found was a criminal, but he really couldn't fight. And I hope he watching this. He live out here in Virginia with me. Found couldn't fight, and everybody was scared of him because he ain't had no teeth. And Found always got locked up. So like Natural Born, and Foundation, and a lot of motherfuckers who always got locked up. Jamesburg, Bordentown. Shout out to Jamesburg, Bordentown, Skillman, and shit like that. Y'all ain't realize some bomb was one of them niggas in Jamesburg, in Bordentown, Epsi Uni. I ain't never been to Skillman, though. But now, fast forward, I'm a reject from 17th Ave. So now, Parking 33rd. All right, we're going to say that. We're going to say that one, fuck. We're going to say that. No, 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 no. Uh, we're going to uh, finish. We're going to no, we're gonna finish. Where you got to go, Duan? You got to go uh, upstairs or you yeah, got to go yeah, feed yeah, the baby? Yeah, I got to yeah, get, get ready, man. I got to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look. Anyway, long story short, Park at 33rd, that's my block. I fucked up a nigga from 17th Ave who got to bring crack out there, popped him in his face. 17th Ave came back and jumped me. But you know what? I'm still here. And that, and, and see, that's the difference from nowadays. Cats not doing things like they they taking lives. You know what I'm saying? They taking right. lives. Like like you can heal from from some knuckles or whatever. You can right. heal. You know what I'm saying? But when when, when Joker's pulling them guns, you can't heal from that. You don't. You're not able to talk about that. You're not able to be there. Like you say, and have your sons and daughters and have your grandchildren and all that. All that is taken away with one shot. You know what and I'm so saying? And so whether when I fucked up that dude, if he had came back with a gun or if I'd have had a gun and shot him. Right. It's over. We still ain't going to be here. Exactly. Exactly. So, so, so for all exactly. of y'all peeping game right now, peep this game. Guns. Knives, weapons, killing your brother, killing your black man. I'm going to tell you right now, it makes you a coward. And you only doing the job of the other man. If you could fight, if you got hand skills, if you got knowledge yourself, use all that shit, man. And then realize, because a, a lot of my brothers, like I said, Kushan jumped me. Hadou jumped me. But I still love them brothers. 
they still, still allowed to talk about it. You still allowed to talk about it. That's that's <laughs> that's that's, that's we, the thing. You know what I'm saying? Still we are talk. still brothers. Hadou, Kushan, Nation, rest in peace, Kayshawn, beloved. All them dudes is still my brothers, and I love them. No doubt. Rasheem Talbert, all them dudes. Big Cat. Anthony Abdul, just I, I damn near named all the 17th dad, but I ain't saying my man Troy Montgomery <laughs> and Coco. <laughs> right. Tuffy Azo and the Ali Absolutely. family. No doubt, no doubt. Shout out to Tuff. You, you feel know, me? The, you know, Nate Sean and rest 17th pop, dad. Man. Stand up, Tayshawn, right? All of them, yeah. Tayshawn, rest in peace. Tayshawn, rest in power. <clears throat> but know this, man. I can say what I want about Patterson, New Jersey, but Patterson raised me. The brother you see on the other half of the screen, Duhon, Shadu, Shadi, he raised me. And he only taught me good shit. Shadi ain't, a Shadi ain't never sell. Say sell crack, he ain't never say pull a gun. Like if you had a gun, you was a weak. Like if I pulled out a gun, Shadi, we gonna kill 16th ad. Shadi looked at you like, <laughs> yo, get this nigga off the block right now. We don't do guns. Patterson, Silk City, stand up, man, for your righteous brothers. You know what I mean? This brother right there on the screen, Duhon, Shadi, Andre Hill, I don't give a fuck what you call him, but do me a favor. Just acknowledge him as God by me. I don't give a fuck what you call me. Just acknowledge me as still living. The God's son born. That we is. ask you, Pete Gain, every week, Shade gonna have Shade, you better have a motherfucking quarter fill on next week. <laughs> or you better have a seat on. <laughs> but hey, peep game, listeners, look. Shade gonna have to bring his old school hip hop game every week. I ain't gonna bring my shit. Natural born, if you watching, get with us. I know Natural Born got quarter fills with furs. Well, he, better, he, 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 better, he better send me one of them drugs then. Yo. <laughs> hey, but look, no one understand. We hip hop, and we've been fucking with hip hop since like 78. Shadi taught me hip hop. Like he said, he got it from New York, where he got it from. Shala got it from where he got it from. I got it from where we got it from. Shout out to Alabama Projects, Fifth Fab Projects, Big Head Marvin them. Shout out to CCP Projects, the Stone Brothers. Shout out to the McCaskills. Shout out to uh, what's Zeppi and them, the Jeffersons. You know what I mean, Ray Vaughn. Shout out to all the Patterson, man. Let's do that. You know what I mean? Shout and out. this is what we're going to do. We're going to bring it to a close on this first Black History Weekend. But tune in with us next week. We're gonna build on some other shit. We're gonna build, we're gonna get at these broads with the fake wigs and the motherfucking eyelashes and the dudes that's wearing fake dreadlocks. Do on, can we do that? We we'll talk about it next week, man. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Duhan gonna talk about that shit throughout the week. So this Duhan show, Pete Game, live on air. With the God Sunborn, also known as King Sun. <clears throat> and I'm gonna be here as long as the God need me. And I'm gonna be here as long as you cats need me. So let's build, man. If you want knowledge yourself, come fuck with us. If you want something else, go on TikTok and YouTube and shorts and messenger and all that goofy shit. Go get miseducated there. If you want to get educated, come fuck with the gods. Live on the Pete Game Show. And with that, power equality, our law C equality. Please educate all children equally. Peace. Proper education always corrects what? Errors. And tell Shadi to take all 
Hey, look, Pops tell Chad to take off that night. Elevation. <laughs> hey, look, tell Chad to take off that tight ass Visa mock neck. Tell him to get the white one with the gray and the burgundy. <laughs> Do her. Peace. I love you. Love you, God. All right, peace.